How y'all doing today, guys? We're out here in a special location, especially my heart anyway. We're at Indian Creek. It comes off Northwest River in Chesapeake, Virginia. But this is where I learned to cut my teeth fishing as a child. It's been so long ago, I don't remember learning how to fish. But I do remember learning how to tie my first fishing knot here on these banks. We used to run up down these creeks when we were kid. That house over there wasn't here. It was all crop fields. Anyway, this place has grown up a lot. But that brings up today's segment, my favorite knots and my favorite rigs for catfishing. Stay tuned, y'all. This is going to be an all Palomar knot uh, Carolina rig. My, my go to rig when I'm catfishing. Anyway, you need your leader line. However much you prefer. I say that's about 18 inches just for presentation here. Okay, this is important. You have to do your swivel. You have to do your swivel on your leader first on all Palomar knot. Carolina rig you have to because after you if you do your main line first you have no way to loop in this through so you just double it what you do is take your line and double it so you just double it then I always pinch it because this leader line's heavy you put it through your swivel and I switch it around because I'm ambidextrous and that's just the way my brain works anyway you go through and you do like you would do your shoelace for the first tie. And you pull it tight. Then you take your swivel, flip it through that loop. And then you pull the tag in and the main line together all at one time. And then snug it tight. Snug it. And that knot simple, very strong, very, very strong knot. And then you trim. I like leaving a little bit so if the knot does slide. Still got some tag in left. And there's step one. Okay, step two. Your main line, 30 pound slime line. Sink or slide. You slide it through. Okay, and this is a step. The reason why I'm saying you have to do the swivel on your leader first because there's no way to be able to loop it after if it, if the swivel is on your main line. There's no way to be able to loop it through, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, you go through the same step. Double it. Come through. Put it through the circle. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Just put it through your circle. And you pull it tight. Just like you would your first tie on your shoelace. Then you take the leader and the swivel. And you run it through. Now that's clear. Same thing. Pull your main line. <clears throat> and then when it gets where you want it, pull tag and main line. And snug it up tight and trim. So there's your sinker slide, your main line, and your leader and trim. Okay, and it goes down to your hook, same exact knot. Double it like so. Make sure you leave enough room for that loop to go around these hooks. You got to make it bigger, look bigger than the swivel because it's got to go be able to wrap around that hook. You have to pinch it pretty good to get it small enough to get to the eye of the hook. And these are all TK products. And this is the Dyna uh, Ot Wide Gap Circle. Great hooks. Like I said, double it, come through, and then loop it just like you would your shoelace. For the first tie on your shoelace. 
and you pull it tight. Hold the main line and leader. I mean, the main line and the tag. Loop it through. And then pull it. Your main line. And just keep pulling it. It'll come true. And then when you get down to it, when you get down to it, pull your main line and your tag in. And pull it tight. And there's your all Palomar Carolina rig. All Palomar knots. Simple, easy knot, but very strong. Okay, guys, for the next rig I got here for you, this is going to be a Santa Key Cooper rig. Okay, it's basically a Carolina rig, but with a float, a peg float, or a demon dragon, whatever you prefer. I have a video on easy rig demon dragons if y'all want to check that out. Makes it real simple and adjustable. Or you can use peg float. A lot of people like the peg floats. And I'm going to do this one with my favorite hook that I like on the James River. 10 knot cake cap from Tackling Cats. This is going to be the easy snail. What you do is the point side of the hook, you run your line through it. Just like so. You pull your tag end down. You hold it on your shank. Then you wrap your line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Or eight. How many of you ever you prefer? Hold it right there. And this is the key to this knot. Then you come up from the the shank side, the back side of the the very back. See how I got it? You come up through the back side and you just pull it through. Then you pull it all tight. Pull it real tight. That's the easy snail knot. There you go. Okay, then you add your float. Whether it be, like I said, a Demon Dragon. This is the Chris Souders edition. I like the colors. Because it's gray and reflective. I just like the colors. The red eyes. But uh, you can get them a tackle band, of course. Everybody knows that. Um, anyway, you add your peg float. You can adjust it where you want. I like mine about three or four inches from the hook. Then you just peg it. Then this is what's not. okay. What I was saying, guys, before my camera decided just to flip and fall over, Casper must have come in and smacked it over. I was going to talk about the easy clip from Tackling Cats. Like I said, I use all the Tackling Cats terminal tackle hooks and swivels and easy clips, chain swivels. But anyway, you just tie a Palomar knot on this thing. It saves you a lot of time, especially pre rigging, especially if you break off while you're fishing. This saves a tremendous amount of time. You just tie your Palomar knot on here, or whatever knot you prefer. I prefer Palomar knots because they're usually quick and easy, and they're very strong. Very strong. This leader wire stiff, so anyway. You know, you just tie your Palomar knot like I showed you before. And slide it down nice and easy. Grab your tag in. Bam. Trim that. Just take and trim it. I said I like leaving just a little bit. Well, fingers a little sweaty. Trim that. Then you take these and switch ends here. Well, actually, I had it right the first time. And you take these easy clips right here, and you just take your swivel right here and put it on there. You just pop it on there. Bam! It's done. And they're great for pre-rigging. I mean, that's that's awesome for pre-rigging. But anyway, that's your Sanity Cooper rig. With the easy clip, it's all Palomar knots except for the easy snail. That's my second favorite rig.
and then I'm going to show you uh, my third favorite rig and I'll show you another knot in that on the next little clip Santa T. Cooper rig okay guys last but, uh, but not least it's going to be the last one I'll show you today what I've done is took that chain swivel I was showing you earlier tied a Palomar knot onto it wanted the Santa T. rig with the peg float and was going to take and clip it right on this easy clip And this is going to be a simple three-way. Okay, put that on there, the easy clip. Then I'm going to take a piece of mainline, 30-pound test. And this is what makes it a three-way. And then I'm going to use a clinch knot on this. And you just go right here. Beside your, your uh, chain swivel. And you just tie a, a cinch. Oh. A clinch knot improved clinch you know just wrap it about five or six seven times whatever you prefer and the reason why I use mainline for this because usually this is what's going to get hung up when you're on the bottom is a sinker so I want <clears throat> the sinker to break off what you do is wrap it five or six times you go through this loop with your tag in and it's going to create another loop right here it's going to create another loop. And you just slide the, the tag in through that, grab it, and you have to wet this. You wet it, and you cinch it all down nice and good tight. And that way, it'll look like this. Then at the other end of the main line you see here, you see how it's set up. you got the easy clip, the chain swivel, the leader, and your float, I made it short so you can see it hook. And then it, you take the other end of your your main line, 30 pound test, or fishing line, not main line, because that'd be on your rod, and do the same knot. Twist it about six or seven times. Put it through this loop right here. And it's going to create another loop. <clears throat> it's Send that through that other loop. Grab that tag in, wet it. It's good and wet, and then cinch it down. And that's a three way. Then you take and just put your easy clip on there. And there you got the three way. Do a little bit of adjusting. You got the three way right here. Take them all, slide them down to the other end. Like such. Sorry you didn't see all that, but and that's the three way. If you see it, it'll come off three different ways. Your main line, well, that's a little wrapped up. But I'll take a still picture so you can see what it looks like when it's all together. It's a three-way. This is not my rod over. To your sinker. And I'll take a still picture of all these at the end of the video. And that way you can see what all these look like. Thanks for watching my video today, guys. If you like what you see in the content, put some comments down below what you like to see, what you disliked about it, and subscribe, pass it along, smash that like button. Until next time, tight lines and always hook them deep.